Thank you, Andy. Let's stay in Division 3, a busy day for field events. Our first stop is the girls' long jump pit. Parkway's Sydney Crouch, the best jump of 16 feet, 3.5 inches, good for 10th place. Marion local freshman Aubrey Toby leaps 16, 9.5 in the finals, making the podium in 7th. And Ada's Carly Marshall goes 16, 11. She places 5th. At the girls' pole vault, Archibald Sydney Ranzu goes up and over 9, 6. The junior finishes 16th. Ridgemont's Meadow Cromer set a new school record earlier this season. She clears 10-6 here, good for 11th at state. Next up is Spencerville's Gabrielle Goki Best vault over 11 feet, earning her 10th place. How about Fort Laramie's Andrea Meyer? Also clearing 11 feet and places 9th, just missing the podium. New Bremen's Celeste Cuck also went up and over 11 feet herself. She placed 8th in the event. Across the street now to the throwing area for the boys. Shot put, Fort Recovery's Tyler Atchison. A best throw of 44 feet, 11 and 3 quarters. 15th place for the Indian. Botkins' Josh Miller, 52 feet, 11 and 3 quarter inches. 6th place at state. Arcadia's Shea Watkins goes 54 feet, 5 and 3 quarters. Good for 5th. And a great showing for Spencerville's Evan Pugh. He finishes state runner-up with a best throw of 56 feet, 3 inches. Uh, the feeling's really surreal. Today I just came out and I did what I knew I could do. Uh, I hadn't really put it together the past few weeks, but I was able to do that today, and this is the week that it counts. Uh, it definitely helps having been here before. I think that's a lot of pressure uh, to handle uh, first time to make for a PR. Uh, another thing is I had a feeling earlier in the year when I threw my uh, previous best throw at Walpock that I hadn't really gotten until this week, and that's just a day-to-day -day thing. Sometimes throws are good, sometimes they aren't, and they were good today. <laughs> Evan also competing right next door at the boys' discus. He heaves it 153 feet 11 inches and earns fifth. Botkins' Josh Miller, 149 feet 11 inches, good for ninth. A lot of familiar names here. Shea Watkins also throwing the disc, 169 feet 6 inches. He is the state runner-up. Columbus Grove's Reese Roney finished fourth in the shot put, and here he is at the discus, placing third with a best throw of 164 feet 7 inches. A great day with two top four finishes for the Bulldog Junior. I know I came in at fifth in shot and then second in disc, so I won up in shot and then went down one in disc, but I know it was a pretty good competition day, so I'm happy with how I did. It was really tough today. Um, I know there was one junior that got first, Aaron Andrew Lamb, I think. Then Shea was returning state runner up, so I mean, I knew it was a really good competition. And I think it's top four for my regional, so I mean, I know most of them pretty well. And, Girls high jump, two local competitors. Let's begin with Minster's Jordan Heitbrink. She clears 5-4 and finishes in sixth place. Then there's the defending state champ, Ottoville's Brooke Mangus, who not only repeats as the state champion, but sets a new state record clearing 5-9 and a quarter, and then eventually 5-10, even surprising herself on this record-setting day. Oh, it was incredible. I, I've actually never cleared 5-9 and a quarter. Yeah, so it was incredible. And super excited. It was kind of bittersweet making it down again and I knew I had to work hard because there's a lot of good jumpers down here and I I really wanted to get that record today and I pushed for it and I got it. All the support from my friends and family that came here and them cheering me on because that really pushed me to why that I can get it and my coaches they do a great job of coaching me obviously. Over to the boys pole vault Minster's Ethan Mon in a best height of 13 feet even good for 10th place. Grove's Caden Grothaus up and over 13-8, and he makes the podium in eighth place. Fort Warmie's Alan Holheide is up next. He's up and over 13-8 as well and finishes in seventh. Boys turn on the high jump. Rushi's Josh York clears 6-3 and finishes eighth place in the event, while St. Henry's Jesse Niekamp also gets over 6-3 and finishes sixth. It was just a great experience to get here. I've been working to get to state for every sport I've been in. I mean, and especially the last two years of track, I've just missed it at fifth place and losing those both years. So coming into it, I was just happy to be here and just wanted to do my best and compete. Back to the throwing area we go for the girls' discus. Grace Homan of Botkins, 107 feet, 1 inch, 16th place for Grace. Lipsick's Grace Regal, 119 feet, 2 inches for the Lady Viking and 14th place. Jackson centers Nicole Fote, heaves the disc 130 feet 2 inches and makes the podium in 8th. Carol Pauley, representing Riverdale, goes 139 feet 2 inches, earning her 4th place. And then McCombs, Molly Leppelmeyer in a battle with Groves, Linnea Diller. Leppelmeyer goes 146 feet 7 inches and places 7th. 
Winnea Diller, the future Ohio State thrower, is golden in the discus with a best throw of 159 feet, 6 inches. I got it. Uh, definitely an amazing feeling. Uh, I've been uh, working for this since like my freshman year uh, to actually know that I can do it, and I did. Um, and uh, knowing that I've uh, accomplished my, my one main goal uh, just feels amazing. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to be able to have the family support behind me. And I'm a state champion. I'm the best in Ohio. I'm the best out of all divisions. It's just, it doesn't seem real to me yet. I uh, cried and did everything, but I don't think it's set in yet that I, I have a state championship. I won it. And it feels amazing. Um, definitely, uh, I don't, this is probably the best feeling I've ever felt, knowing that uh, all my hard work and dedication to the sports definitely paid off. The battle between Diller and Leppelmeyer continues at the shot put, but first it's Bopkins Grace home in 36 feet four and a half. She finishes 14th. New Bremen's Maddie Moeller, 36 feet six and a quarter inches, 11th place for Maddie. Minster's Savannah Luthman makes the podium with a best throw of 38 feet ten and a half inches, good for seventh. Diller is up next, 43 feet 11 and a half inches. He's sitting second currently, but would finish third because Grace Regal overtakes her with a best throw of 45 feet 3 and a quarter inches. But on the last throw of the day, McCombs Molly Leppelmeyer digs deep and wins the event with a toss of 46 feet 9 inches. So Leppelmeyer is your state shot put champion with Regal second and Diller third. Actually, at our conference meet, BBC, I was right behind Grace, just like it was. She threw one, the and like football. it was legit, like the same thing. And I just went into throw, like I know what I have to do. I've done this before. I just have to calm down and throw my throw. I'm just so blessed to be here. God has blessed me with some amazing talents and some amazing people to help me get me here. This year was definitely, I was a lot more comfortable. I knew my surroundings. I knew people here. Last year, I was just really nervous going out. This year, I was more calm. Uh, I feel great about how I performed today. I wouldn't want it any better.